Hi everyone. Today we have a challenge for you. We have our weighing balance and nine tokens. So these nine tokens, all of them look identical, but one of them is heavier than all other eight. So the task for you is to find out which of these token is heavier than other eight using this weighing balance. So here are the tokens for you. Go for it. So can I not just weigh using my hands that whichever one is heavier? Can I not find it in that way? So if you have bad senses. You can, but here uh, it's difficult. It's difficult, it's difficult to, to see to, which one uh, is to, heavier. So to maybe do by your hand, yeah. Okay. So maybe I wanted to put it one on this bowl, one on this bowl, and wanted to see whether they are balancing or not. So it seems like both of them are balancing. Wanted to put that, put this in a side. So you use the weighing balance one time. Let's see how many in how many times you can do it. All right, taking the. Two more from the remaining one. Put it one on the left, one on the right, and now if I see this one is uh, a heavier, which means this is the coin which I was looking for. So he got the heavier coin in just second turn. But what about the worst case scenario? Suppose he took two coins, but they balanced. So the next turn. Is still the balance. Then it's the third turn. They still balance, and then fourth turn, they still balance. So first of all, which is the heavier coin? The one. The which, remaining one. The remaining one. But it took four turns in this way to find out which one was the heavier. So in the worst case scenario, in this way, by putting two two coins, it took four turns to find out the heavier one. So there is a question for you: If I had rather than nine, twenty-seven tokens, how how many turns would it take for you to find out which one is the heavier one? So now the question is: Can you reduce the number of turns less than four and say? Even in the worst case scenario, for sure, you will be able to find out the heavier coin. So, can you do it in less than four turns? Even in the worst case scenario, tell me which one is the heavier coin. In the last attempt, we have put one coin on each of the side. This time, maybe I would like to put uh, almost half on the one side, and maybe half this side, and I can see. This one is getting lowered, okay. so my heavier must be among these four. So and one turn used. Sure. Okay. And, and I'm discarding all of my remaining coins on this side. Now I wanted to find which one is heavier. Again, I'm splitting this into half. So putting two on the right hand side and putting two on the left hand side, and I can see this one is lowered. So it must be my heavier coin. Must be among these two. So once again, discarding. Okay. So great. Now one. two turns have been used, and uh, you can say that among these two, one is the heavier one. Okay. Yes. And now it's the easier one. There are two coins, splitting them into half, one on each of the sides, and I can see that this one is a bit lower. So this is your coin. Great. So now you did it in just three turns. And you told me that which one is the heavier coins. So now again the question comes that rather than nine coins, if I had twenty-seven coins, with this way, how many turns would be required to find out the heavier coin? So now the interesting part comes that actually, in less than three turns also, you can tell for sure which is the heavier coin. Even in the worst case scenario, in less than three turns, you can tell which one is the heavier coin. So, would you like to give it a try? By less than three, you mean in only in two uh, uh, turns, I have to tell or I have to search which one is heavier. <laughs> These are too many uh, coins to find it out which one is heavier in in two turns. So, okay. two two doesn't seems. So, let me give you a hint. Feasible task, yeah. So uh, can you do what you did from in the last time 
on you did on four uh, on this side and four on this side but what about if all your four were balanced like if this was balanced what which one was your heavier coin then it's my like a best luckiest scenario this one is your heaviest only got it in a one shot so the coin which was left you are also getting to know something about this coin so would you like to change this number like just leaving one coin you can think of other distribution rather than 441 something else because also you are getting to know about the coins which were left behind so would you like to think in in that case i will split my entire uh, tokens into three parts i wanted to put yeah the, so you have nine yes so i wanted to put three into one of the bowl three into an another one and these two are balance now i can see that this uh, bowl has lowered which means my heavier one must be in this case but if the, if tokens. it was balanced then then still uh, i would get to know that the heavier one should among these three coins so in one turn you your problem is reduced to three tokens or three coins okay so now after one turn you know among which three you have the yes, heavier one okay for sure now i know that i have to search the heavier coin among these three so i will discard all the other coins so i'm putting that on a left okay. hand side so one turn done just like uh, what you have given a hint i once again wanted to split it into three parts one in one of the bowl another in the second right side ball and one remaining and i can see that both of them has Bal balanced so my heavier coin is there got it <laughs> it into just two uh, turns so yeah just in two turns he got which one was the heavier coin so now again if you have 27 coins or tokens in how many turns would be required to get the heavier token okay now there comes one more interesting question can you reduce it to even less than to one one <laughs> <laughs> one one to seems uh not okay. possible unless unless you are a <laughs> unless you are a god yeah so i was joking so yes it is actually two turns in which like the minimum number of turns in which for the nine coins you can for sure say which one is your heavier coin now here are multiple challenges for you so suppose if you didn't know that the coin is heavier or lighter that you know out of these nine coins one coin is defective but you don't know it is heavier or lighter then minimum how many turns would you require or rather than nine coin you have say 15 coins then how many turns would minimum be required and consider all the worst case scenarios so keep playing with your weighing balance make yourself uh, do different questions and see you for the next time thank you